good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on in good shape. And my guest in the studio today is a specialist for new cancer treatments like the genetic profiling. He's from the renowned German Cancer Research Center in Heidelberg, Professor Christoph von Kalle. Thank you very much for joining us. Hello, thank you. Professor von Kalle, despite all research, cancer is still a leading cause of death worldwide. Why is it so very difficult to treat? Cancer is not just one disease. It's actually a term that describes that body cells of various origin have uh, missed the signal to stick to their organ and they spread in the body and grow. Um, and that's the issue. So we actually have 200 diseases, not just one. And that's the difficulty of actually treating it. And then there's gene mutations and different forms of cancer that you have to look at. We just saw in our report genetic profiling of a tumor. That's a, a new method. Who can benefit from that today? Um, there are a number of diagnostic tests already and drugs available in specific diseases. There are certain types of leukemias. Um, there is a, a drug for skin cancer. You saw um, there is something in lung cancer. Um, there is something in particular forms of um, uh, colon cancer, of uh, um, GI cancer, gastrointestinal cancers that can be treated like that. And of course, breast cancer also mm -hmm. um, has some uh, new developments there. But it's still being tried out. Will we be able to uh, genetically analyze all forms of tumor in the future? Well, that's what we're thriving for. Actually, the genetic um, causes of the disease, and there are multiple mutations in each cell, so there are multiple defects that actually cause the cancer. And our current understanding is that once we understand them all, we can at least try much more specifically to treat each individual patient according to the actual individual molecular disease that he or she really has. Mm -hmm. So it's a question of finding out about the individual form of tumor that there is to get the right medication. Exactly. Mm -hmm. a, a tumor may look the same, but it need not be the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at another new form of therapy, the therapy with antibodies. How does that differ from conventional chemotherapy? Conventional chemotherapy is basically a toxin that uh, is directed especially against fast-growing cells of all kinds. And that can also affect the blood cells and the hair cells. So you know that patients who receive chemotherapy have those types of side effects. An antibody is something where you use a product of the immune system, of the human immune system, um, to block, say, growth antennas on cancer cells or to activate the immune system against a cancer cell. So it is, it is an immune attack, if you wish, against the cancer. You were mentioning, you know, the losing of hair with chemotherapy. That's something that many people are scared of. Are there fewer side effects with these new therapies? If some of them are fewer. Of course, the more specific you are. And sometimes you need the chemotherapy to be specific. So, for example, leukemias grow fast and you can actually treat them well. Uh, with chemotherapy against fast-growing cells. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the new therapies are more specific and have much fewer side effects. And some of the side effects also differ a little bit. So it depends. Mm -hmm. But in general, the therapies that we can do today have less side effects than they used a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's speak about briefly about one last form of new therapy, the designer T-cells, where you use the body's own defense system, the immune system, to treat cancer or fight cancer. How does that work? Yes, there are studies to try and try transfer um, a, a particular type of cell to patients who have a tumor and don't have mounted that response with their own immune system. So the therapist, the doctor, tries to design a specific defense cell against the tumor. So it's not using antibody, but it's using an attack cell instead. Professor von Kalle, who can benefit from new radiosurgical methods like the cyber knife or heavy iron therapy? These methods have a very high degree of precision. They are not destroying the surrounding tissues, but they are really like a surgeon's knife. They can hit the tissue right there where it needs to be. Uh, the technologies, some of them even allow to follow moving tissue, say in the lung or the liver, while the patient is breathing. So if you have a localized lesion in the brain or in one of these organs, you can treat it very well. So it's more precise and there are fewer side effects, I take it? Yes. 
Okay, well, um, treating cancer once is often not enough because it turns to spread and form metastases. What's new when it comes to that problem? The understanding of which cells make metastases and what are the mechanisms on why they do has grown a lot in the last few years. Scientists and, and uh, physicians have realized that it's actually most of the time the metastases who are the real health problem uh, and eventually might kill the patient, not as much the localized tumor. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of research going into the questions, when do they spread? How do they spread and how can we intervene with that process? Mm. And intervening early is, is a key to treating cancer successfully, early detection. Yes. What, what's new there? What new methods for early detection do we have? Uh, there are a number of uh, assays um, that you can test for biomarkers um, of disease, um, the radiological um, imaging and the molecular imaging that we have to find cancers can now show cancers at a much smaller stage. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes when the cancer is smaller and earlier, it can be removed surgically so the surgeon can take it out and the problem is solved. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to basically catch the horse before it's out of the barn, mm -hmm. so to speak. Okay, and to go even one step sort of before that, you should think about prevention. The WHO, the World Health Organization, actually says that 30% of all cancer deaths are induced by behavior and, and lifestyle. Does that mean we can actually prevent some forms of cancer? Yeah, there are estimates that to 30 up to 50 percent, so half of the cancers can be prevented by very simple measures. Um, not smoking, um, reduced alcohol consumption and staying um, staying trim, uh, not, uh, not yeah. growing obese, staying mm -hmm. fit. Mm -hmm. And there are also some cancers that are caused by infection mm -hmm. and vaccinations against certain types of cancer risks are also possible. Okay, well, we've had many viewers writing on that topic, such as Wendy Ong and Bilma Butt. They wanted to know what role nutrition plays. Well, we know, um, and I mentioned alcohol already, of course, uh, you should um, have everything in moderation. Um, so I think the most important part about the nutrition is actually looking that your weight doesn't get too high mm -hmm. because we know today that obesity is a significant risk factor for developing cancer. Okay, so there's lots one can do themselves sort of thing to try and prevent Yes, thank and you. most of the things are actually what your grandmother already knew. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Thanks for being our guest, Professor von Kalle.